You are ready to embark on a building project. You probably have a program idea, budget, and maybe even the start of a design. But how do you ensure the best value for your project? Well, let's start with choosing the construction delivery method that is right for you and your project. Whether it's a new hospital tower, a school renovation, or a downtown corporate headquarters, the construction delivery method sets the tone for the building process. The four most common delivery methods include construction management at risk, construction management agency, design build, and traditional design bid build or hard bid. But what do each of these delivery methods provide and which one is right for you? Start by evaluating your project priorities. If transparency and collaboration are of importance, you should consider the construction management delivery method. Construction management can be delivered at risk for all private entities. For public entities, state law will dictate whether construction management can be delivered at risk or agency. The main difference between at risk and agency is who holds the trade subcontracts or the risk. Either way, both methods provide the same collaborative and financial advantages. The CM delivery allows you to select the architect at the same time as the construction manager based on the best value of price and qualifications, including team members and experience. The construction manager then collaborates with you and the design team to solve potential construction issues before construction begins. This often leads to a more complete and cost-effective delivery. In most scenarios, you can also be given a guaranteed maximum price or GMP. Construction management also allows for selection of subcontractors based on qualifications and not just price. You or your representative remain involved in the process throughout design and construction. When your project budget and schedule are extremely tight and you want to take on the least amount of contractual risk, you might want to consider the design build method. This best value method requires a contractual obligation between the architect and the construction manager, allowing you to hold just one contract and therefore less contractual risk. The architect and the construction manager become the design build team and work together from the start to design and build the complete scope of the project, allowing for a streamlined, transparent process. Design build projects can be very successful as long as there is open, effective communication and precise decision making. If a lump sum cost is your top priority, you may want to evaluate the traditional design bid build method or hard bid. In this instance, general contractors provide a lump sum bid after design is complete and you choose the low cost provider. Although often seen as the low cost solution, unfortunately, leaving the contractor out of the design phase can create gaps in constructability that can lead to costly change orders. Furthermore, the contractor's costs are not auditable, sometimes creating an adversarial relationship between the owner and contractor. Each delivery method provides strategic advantages based on your needs and goals. So, now is the time to choose the one that is right for you and your project. For additional delivery method resources, visit smwilson.com slash delivery methods.